Another thing the interwebs have diluted a tad is Sokol's local international motorcycle show, the one that kicks off the motorcycle fever in Long Beach, California, every November. Now that we get to see nearly all the new bikes the week before from Milano, it's slightly anticlimactic. Only slightly, though. It's still a great place to see everybody in the U.S. bike industry all in one place and gauge their confidence slash fear ratio, along with most, if not all, of the new machinery, and to ask each other collectively, how we doing? Scooter sales seem to be in the toilet cheap gas, but scooters remain a small segment of the U.S. market anyway. The big chunk of bike sales are on highway, and they're up a healthy 6.4% for 2015. An overall motorcycle gain of 4.7% may not seem like much, but a senior motor official told us it looks pretty good to him on the heels of last year's really big gains. They're not selling many more motorcycles, but they're selling more expensive ones. High profit units like the new R1 and FJ09. In fact, the real success story is in the dual category, which includes everything from small Maha TW200 play bikes to the biggest Triumph Explorer and all the BMW S1000 XRs and Ducati Multistradas in between. Not only are those bikes up 6.9% year to date, for the last four years their sales have grown 12%, 7.1%, 16.7% and 2.9%.